Hello. <laughs> ah! Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Ooh, nine people in the chat. Yay. I am, we are super excited. <laughs> oh, there you go. There it is. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the first ever Artisan show. Um, oops, I gotta turn my volume. Happy Saturday. We're gonna have some amazing people on here showing not only items that they made jewelry wise, but other items. I'm, I just, I literally cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm super stoked. I can. Cannot wait to see what everybody has made. And I hope that we can inspire everybody watching to make some some awesome goodies from this as yes, well. Exactly. Um, so of course, everybody that you will see today, the link to their YouTube channels is in the description box down below. Miss Jenny worked so hard to get everybody's information down there. So just down there, uh, don't forget to go down there and subscribe to one another. All about that love. Um, they have, every artisan will have about 15 minutes. We wanted to make sure this didn't turn into a four day show. Uh, so every uh, artist will have um, 15 minutes to go over and show their wonderful goodies, how to purchase, and all of that stuff. Um, I'll be timekeeper. I'll be the boss uh, that way. Jenny's gonna be the maitre d', the host. The hostess <laughs> with the mostess. <laughs> yeah, uh, so again, yes, everybody, um, we have all together, there is nine of us, and we're super excited. If you guys go click on the description section Everybody's information is there, their email, their YouTube link, um, whatever you need, please subscribe, please check them out, especially if you see something that you're interested in. And, um, you know, they can do whatever they want with their time. If they want to um, sell something, make sure that you are, you are registered to either me or Devin, to one of us hosts, um, so that you can be registered to bid. Make sure uh, that information is in the description, just in case if you see something that you want to purchase. And if you miss it, you can always email them after. Yeah, we're super excited. This is going to be an excellent show to watch on the replay. <laughs> so you'll be able to see everybody it's gonna be, I'm just so excited for the diversity that we have today. Like I said, not only jewelry, but so many other things. And so much stuff can be done in 15 and so much stuff cannot be shown in 15. So if you like what you see, like we've mentioned, email the person, the artisan, subscribe to their channel, ask them if they can do any custom work. Um, just communication is key. Y'all know the drill. This is our first time. So there's gonna be bumps. There's gonna be craziness. Um, so, you know, bear with us <laughs> as we go through this crazy roller coaster ride. Um, and yeah, we've been we've been yakety yakking for about a couple minutes now. And you know what that means? The first person to show is <laughs> Miss Jenny Gems herself. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I got a few different things to show. Um, I took out some of my um, favorite things to make. I, I dibble and dabble and dibble. I dibble and dabble. Let me see. Uh, how do I do that? There you go. Okay. Um, 
I make lots of different things. Um, first things first, I crochet and I love to crochet stuffed animals. So these are just a few of the things that I made for my daughter. Um, and these are pretty beat up already. <laughs> She's had them for a while. So these are just some of the things that I make. Just an example. Um, I've made so many. This is a big, this one I named, her name is Lola. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a little example of the things that I do. Um, so that's just an example of the origami crochet stuff. I also crocheted her a Halloween costume. I didn't do it this year. It was too much, too much for me to do. I'm gonna end up buying her one. Um, I, I did her. Um, I made her a Minnie Mouse costume. I crocheted all of this. This was my pattern. Um, and then here's the little ruffle underwear that's with it. I also made. I only found one of the shoes. This. I also made the shoes. And of course, the ears. <laughs> so yeah, she was styling that year. Uh, she actually won a, con a contest, and we got a gift card out of it. <laughs> so wow, <that's> sweet. <laughs> Shopping bag has a question. Do sure. you sell them? Um, I. I am, right now, I don't have anything on my Etsy, but I'm going to be posting um, my handmade work on Etsy. So make sure you add me to your favorites. I'm, this month, I'm going to be adding quite a few things. So yes, I'm going to be adding uh, teddy bears, most likely teddy bears, jewelry, those kinds of things, oh, and some mobiles. So I just made, this is just an idea of mobiles that I make. And this is all out of cardstock. There are layers of cardstock and jewels and things like that. Um, these are little dyed highlights. So yeah. I have to say that I purchased, well, my mom purchased a mobile from Jenny. Um, and I have it hung above my daughter's bed and it's one of our nighttime routines to have her touch the butterflies. So, amazing the craftsmanship that jenny has and these things i'm not surprised people are not like knocking down her house to get some more mobiles that she has because it's so beautiful uh yeah i've 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 made so many and more detailed too this was just this is something new that i made that i wanted to make sure that i show some of my favorite things that I've made. So this is one. So I made, I made mobiles and I crocheted some. I did some out of paper. And another question, do you take custom orders? I do, I do. Um, of course, you know, depending on what it is, you gotta allow me some time uh, depending on what it is. But yes, please email me about custom orders if, if you would like a custom order. And um, Emails in the description box. So is obviously you're on Jenny's channel, um, but check out her emails down below in the description box. And of course, it is October. So I had to make something Halloween. So Devin, close your eyes. <laughs> so I've made some, I love the, when I see skulls, I automatically think of Day of the Dead. And that's always what I go with. <laughs> so I made these beautiful ones. I, I made two last night. I made these last night because I wanted to make sure that I show. So I have some that are, um, oop, that this these are, um, oh my gosh, I'm losing my brain. Amethyst. Uh, amethyst. These are the, what do you? Swarovski? Faceted? Um, what kind of amethyst this is? This is oh, chevron. Chevron amethyst. So I kind of make it look like they have a crown of flowers. Awesome. And, and those aren't just Halloween things. 
These could literally be worn all year round. Yeah. Why not? These are heavy. Natural stone. <laughs> and these are uh, Pitcher Jasper. Pitcher Jasper. So I've been wanting to make these for a while. I've made several of these, but these are the first ones of these kind. Um, and one more. Oh, good on time. Okay, good. <laughs> and just a little, I of course, I do crochet jewelry as well. So... This is just, I also, I've also crocheted rosaries and things like that. So yeah. So yep, these are all the things that I've made. I would have made more, but I kind of like run out of time. Um, but make sure you guys um, add me to your favorites on your Etsy, uh, on my Etsy. Uh, I am gonna be having some Halloween, uh, more Halloween jewelry. This was, a pendant that I was going to call to a necklace, so you could expect to see something like that. So, yeah. So, like she mentioned, she does take custom orders, whether it is her crochet, whether it is her custom jewelry. Last year, Jenny made these hoops that she crocheted, and she also embellished them with a spider. I cannot forget about those at all. So guys, custom jewelry uh, via crochet. She literally, the possibilities are endless with Miss Jenny. Yes, thank you guys for, for watching and looking at my things. And I cannot wait to see everybody else's stuff. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hello, hello. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Um, we have about um, eight minutes left on the clock for you, Miss Jenny. Oh. Um, so, I don't know if you want to go ahead and reshow a few things that you have in more detail. Um, that way people can see uh, what you got, like those crochet animals. I feel like you showed them way too quick. I need to see those, especially <laughs> that huge one. I've made, um, I've made an elephant, a large elephant before. I've made... Um, I made a tiger. Again, this is Lola. She's really big. Uh, I don't remember how big she is. Look, she's like half my body. <laughs> and her little ruffle dress. And uh, this one, this one is my husband's favorite. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I love the little handmaid on the foot. Handmaid. Laura wants to know, do you have anything uh, for sale that you can show right now? Um, if I really don't have any idea of uh, timing, uh, uh, of pricing, I mean, um, so I will, you can, you can email me. Um, I'm, I'm just going to keep it simple, stress-free. Um, the jewelry is all going to be up for sale. The teddy bears are not, those are my daughters. Um, but if somebody wants me to make one, I can. This my daughter grew out of, so I will be cleaning it. And this one I think I will be putting up on my Etsy shop unless somebody's interested. This is a boutique. This would fit a two-year-old. So I will be putting this up. And guys, check out check out the description. My information is there. I gotta get me some <laughs> crochet hoops. No skull. Oh, um, Lisa said you should auction the skull earrings. Oh, I don't even know what price to start them off at. Oh, I also I also made these, but these are simple. Shut up. Wow. So I also made those. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough time. Um, but uh, but yeah, they're gonna be on my Etsy shop, or you could even uh, email me. So we're gonna go ahead and move it along to the next person. Our next guest is Jennifer Layton. Jude. Right? Jude. Uh, no, it's Jude. Jude. Um. Jude and then Miss Patsy's on deck. Uh, Jude, if you're watching, uh, you would just need to scroll up on the messenger all the way up to the StreamYard link. Uh, you're going to want to click on it and you're going to want to come in. 
uh, that way. You want to get approval for backstage. Um, and then once Jenny sees you, she will add you into the show. So, so we'll have Miss Jude do her time slot and then Miss Patsy Crafty, Craftsy will be on after that. Hi, Carly. Hello, everyone. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. So, all right. So while Miss Jude gets situated, I just want to remind everybody that, of course, everybody's link is in the description box down below. If you have any questions, would like custom orders, you know, with Miss Jenny, you can either email her, especially have something in mind. Um, I know when I was crocheting, it was easy for me to reference a picture that someone had in mind. Um, so if you're looking for custom orders around those, just bear in mind that the sooner you let Miss Jenny know, especially for custom things, handmade things, it's going to take a little bit longer for us. Um, so if you want things by Christmas, maybe, um, shoot, you know, hit us up right now for it. Um, and yeah, any questions, comments, concerns, holler at your girls. So... Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, uh, well, we would definitely love to do another one of these. We're going to see how this goes. And according how this goes, um, we'll see how we would situate the next one. And maybe next time um, we will have more time and things like that. That will all be yes. worked out. There's going to be a lot of um, people's first times live. Um, so, you know, it could definitely be your first time live during our next show. So, all righty. I, I see Miss Jude. I'm going to go ahead and put her in more time. All righty. Like that, that will all be worked out. There's going to be a lot of um, people's first times live. Uh, make sure you mute um, the, um, you know. It can definitely be your first time live during our next on your phone. So, all right. Yes. I see Miss Jude. I'm going to go ahead and put her in. More time. All right. Like that. That will all be worked out. There's going to be a lot of um, first time live. Uh, are you, um, the, uh, uh, you know. All right. Your first time live during our next Okay, um, we hear the, um, the thing, if you can just press, um, do you have, um, are you muted on yours, Jude? No, not that. Um, are you watching it on your phone, maybe? Okay, um, we hear the, um, no volume, no volume, no are you watching it on your laptop? Yes. Yeah. Um, are you muted on yours, Jude? I'm watching it on my laptop. No, not that. Um, are you watching it on your phone? There's no volume, no. Are you watching it on your laptop? Yeah. Fix um, <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we can hear oh, you. Yay. Open. That's what it's called. Too many tabs. <laughs> That's okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. So we'll make us small and or just literally put her on big. Put her on big. And I will start the timer. Wow, the camera's so much wider now than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Welcome to my studio. Um, I call, I'm a mixed media artist. I'm a retired theater director. And um, I just make a lot of things and sometimes I sell them. And so I thought I would share a few of the things today. 
and um, I'll let you know if I have them for sale, custom order, all that stuff, just like Jenny did. So, gee, I don't know where to start. Um, let's start with these little um, Altoid tins. So, well, it's backwards. Okay. So there's the front of it as a spooky little old photo and a rusty moon. And on the back, it has that Halloween paper. And then on the side, it has an old, um, oh, antique key. And then on the inside, it's got this spookiness. So, she, okay, there you go. So I make those. That's one of them. Here's another one. A uh, spooky little witchy girl on the front and a bat and a rusty moon. And a cat. You see the little bottle in there and a crystal ball. And Hey, guys, I can't hear you at all. So how do I fix that? Um, oh, well, okay, you're just not talking. Okay. That's it. We're, we're letting you take the show. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Damn it out. So Go nuts. Yes, that is that is Jude Direct that you're looking yeah. at. That is an amazing craft room, I gotta say. <laughs> I am just the all the colors, and of course, that witchy hat is the most adorable. Um, we're getting a lot of questions on whether the items you're showing are for sale. Okay. Um, this uh this outdoor tin, if you liked that one, that is for sale, and you can just email me. And um, I will give people that are here at the showcase today a discount on what I would normally sell things for. So, um, yeah, just shoot me an email. That's and, awesome. um, yeah, this little guy is for sale. They don't close all the way once they're full, so you have to set them up, you know, like that. Okay. So I have that. And then I have um, the wands, which some, some of you have seen. Let's see. Here they are. Oh, I love those. So I'll show you what a couple of them look like up close. So everybody likes the one with the big ball. So here we go. They have um, a large crystal ball on the top. And they come to a point on the bottom and they're wire wrapped. And then they have, some of them have little charms on the top. This one has like a little spell book, a little Celtic knot, and a little moon. But they all have different things. Um, and they're in different colors. There's purple, browns, reds. Some of them have little owlies on the top of them. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. And, and little moons and stars. And then that one has like a gold... Um, why is it? okay a little gold finish so guys if you're interested in any of the items that you see i went ahead and also put miss jude's email in the chat but bear in mind that everyone that you see today miss jenny put everyone's links to their youtube and their emails in the description box down below either screenshot um or describe to your best of ability so miss jude can set those aside for you and of course paypal you later for the items that you claim mm -hmm. um and i can tell you that wands are ten dollars so and i have a lot of them so if people are interested um the other thing i'm considering here's one uh that has natural gemstones uh along the edges of it um and again it comes down to a point um, and they have like a suede wrap on the suede wrap on them as well. So I'll just scan the group of them so you can get a look at the colors of the. Um, Mr. Jim is currently getting me some crystal shards. Um, oh boy, for the dogs, crystal shards um, to put on, on some more ones. So I apologize for the dogs, buddy. I didn't know. No barking. Thank you. That's going to be so cool. So I have those. And I have this jar. As well. So I have a lot of them. And some of them um, have goddesses on them and spirals um, and brooms and cauldrons and 
some are just moons and stars. So um, depending on your interest and all that. So those are the wands. And like I said, you can just email me. Um, the other thing I'm considering doing on the wands, and if anyone is interested, you can drop it in the chat or let me know um, here now. And that is doing a tutorial on how to make them. Um, it's not a difficult thing. And um, I'd be happy to share um, if you wanted to know how to make them. You'd be surprised when I tell you what they're made out of. <laughs> but um, if, That would if, be really neat, Judy. Yes. If you wanted a tutorial, we could do that as well. So. Absolutely. Okay. I know what y'all want to see, so I'm just going to go to those. <laughs> <laughs> show us. Show us. <laughs> Okay, I'll show you the group at first because you're kind of cute together as a grouping. Oh my gosh. I'm dying. These are, my, <laughs> these are my rattles and shakers. Be cute together. So I'll show you a couple of them up close. Some of them are more primitive than others. Some of them are more whimsical. So first of all, I'll show you Mr. Moon. Oh they, my God. They jingle. And here is a jack o' lantern. And he has shaker inside of him. So he rattles as well as jingles. Those are amazing. Those remind me of um, the night before Christmas. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly, huh? They're long, you know, they're they're quite long. They're probably um well they're at least a foot long. If, yeah. There's a question in the chat. Do you make the heads? I do. I make the heads. The heads are made out of um a paper clay material. And so um I sculpt the heads and um then add all the little Jingles and details. This is my little kitty with the whiskers. Yeah, she can see. Mm -hmm. And the whiskers could be trimmed, obviously, if you don't like the, the big long whiskers. I thought they were funny, so I left them on. So some of them are cutesy, and some of them might be a little more. Uh, hold on. Let me get this right. Scary looking. Come on now, kitty kitty. The lighting isn't the greatest on that one face, but and they do you're great. getting handmade one of a kind pieces from Miss Jude herself. Again, guys, her email to claim to purchase is in the chat. Do you have a price for these? That which is literally out of control. <laughs> She doesn't have any ribbons on right now, I noticed. So I'll put ribbons on her and bell, you know, more bells and pumpkin bells and all that. But I only have the one witch. Um, a couple of years ago, I made these and they went on an artisan's. There was another artist that saw them, that loved them. And she was nice enough to put them on her site and they went like, <gasps> and um, so at the time, all the witches sold, but what was in demand at the time was the cats. So I made a lot more cats. And I do have Mr. Crow as well. Do the prices vary depending on the style or? Um, no, the prices are all the same no matter no matter which one you get. Um, I sold them for $43, but if anyone is here at the showcase today and emails me i will definitely give you a much bigger discount on those like i'm gonna say 25 dollars 25 dollars so um yeah so if you want to email me um there is a lot of hours of work in them for sure um and and you know they're one of a kind so um that's why the price is a little up there um but that's those how am i doing for time you have five minutes. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll show you just a couple little things, and we'll wrap it up. Um, I do have, um, these are like old new stock. I made these, drew these. Um, these are just um, panel board uh, canvases. 
And this one has a witch and it says Salem on it for Halloween. That's cool. And this one says all the best stories have witches in them. And this one just says Salem with the moon and the cauldron and the pumpkin. The one makes me in some glittery stars. I do have those. I also have, um, I make cigar boxes. Uh, and this is uh, Halloween in Wonderland. Uh, oh these little cards slip out here. Little Wonderland cards. And then when you open, the side of the box is decorated and the back is just black. Uh, this says Halloween on the back. And you can see the Mad Hatter has a piece of candy corn in his hand. <laughs> So I literally cannot even right now. I literally cannot. Inside, that's amazing. We have the tea party, and these little there's a little journaling card, and a little place you could tuck Halloween photos, photos of your children or whatever you wanted to keep them in there. Um, there's the tea party, and then there are these. Um, I can't get this. There we go. Um, the little Halloween characters um, from Alice in there. So, um, yeah, so I have the Alice boxes. And um, this is the only one I have left of Alice in Halloween. Um, I would have to check to see if police tape, this paper is no longer available. I would have to check and see if I have more of it. I do have lots of Alice, but I might not have this specific paper so if somebody was interested in the box um i do have you know other alice boxes but i didn't bring them today because they weren't halloween but i do have other we have a question how much in and around are the cigar box prices um if it was one i had already made i would do um this one I would probably do for 25 These, This one would be cheaper. Um, if I was custom making one, I'd have to get 25 too, for sure. Because there's a lot of time. And Absolutely. Time. Yeah. So, um, but, and I wouldn't offer that price like six weeks down the road. I'm doing it for the showcase today. So, right. yeah. So don't quote, don't come to me a year from now. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Huh? $25, Jude. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you have a little bit less than two minutes. Do you okay. want to do just a quick recap? Um, okay. I showed you the little Altoid tins, which I could custom make another one. Um, that's no problem. And I do have this one uh, that's ready to go and just need to email me on that. And then I had the canvases. Uh, and then I had the wands. And again, I um, possibly offer a tutorial on making those as soon as the new supplies come in. But I also have these that are already made if somebody didn't want to make their own. And I had the shaker wands. Oh my god, I love those. Again, guys, anything that you see, please email Miss Jude Direct herself. All of the items that she showed today were handmade by her. <laughs> did you make the hat that you have on? I did not, no. I didn't make the hat. There's a girl on, on uh, Etsy that makes these. Yeah, it's uh, it's like knitted. Like I don't know what you call that. Crocheted? Okay. It's not crochet. Oh, no? Unless, unless it's a different kind of crochet. It's really small stitches. Oh, yeah. Um, it's knitted then. Yes. Yeah, knitted. So. That, that's really cute. so I guess that's what I have to show today. I do have this one little set of boxes. The little stacking boxes. One of them has a moon on it. Oh, God. One of them has a crow on it. And one of them has a black cat on a pumpkin on it. Little prim box that's stacked. I do have that one set left if anybody was interested in those. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing all your awesome, amazing creations. Thank you. Jenny. It was a pleasure. And guys, make sure you check her out. Check out her. her yes, yes. Anything that you see to claim questions, please email Miss Jude direct. Again, links in the description box throughout the chat. Next up, we are going to have Miss Patsy Crafty. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put Miss Patsy Crafty on. Hello, hi everybody, welcome. Your timer is now. Thank you to Jenny, Jen's project, and Devin for putting the show. Thank you. I know it was a lot of work, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, my first thing I'm showing is a a costume that was originally a costume, but I updated it. And it's the Alice in Wonderland. My son wore it, and I'll show you a picture how it looks when he wore it. And the, the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter. And I made these pins here out of chopsticks and beads from jewelry. I made the, the tag, the ribbon was on and the hat and the hat was already made. I added the feather and I added this. So I added more to it and I added the flowers on the side and the dragonfly. And to keep it um, stiff, because you know when you get Halloween costumes, they're not stiff. I inserted, opened the inside of the lining and I inserted um, cardboard. And I also made the belt out of, um, let me see if I can take it off. I'll bring it closer. Out of thread and a belt. Yeah. And a nice belt with a design. And this costume was already made, but it was closed, so I cut it up and I added a lot of a lot of jewelry to it. And um, this bow was in the costume, and I added a bling. I added some brooches, brooches, because he does wear brooches. And I added some hearts in the vest, and the vest didn't come with the costume. I bought the vest at the Goodwill shop. And I added some pockets to it, colorful pockets. And there's a butterfly right here on the shoulder. And that is the upgraded costume. <laughs> and let me show you how my son. Love it. Looked in it, he looks so amazing in it. I have my picture here so I can show it to you real quick. Let me unplug it. That is him. <laughs> that is my little brother, y'all. <laughs> and I made that, that ring, I couldn't find it. The, oh my goodness! I made the thimble ring, and he painted his nails green, and that is him. <laughs> Oh, wow. He went with Jenny. He went to visit Jenny for this occasion. Yeah. And it was here's, fun. Here's the whole costume. Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. I didn't show the pants. Good thing I just saw the picture. So I just took any pants and I added like uh, <clears throat> some chain on the side and I added patches to it. And then he had some funky socks. <laughs> Very cool. So that is number one. Number two, and this one doesn't take that long to make. Maybe two to three days to make. This one takes a couple of months. Just maybe two to three days. Yeah. <laughs> this is one I love props, and I love uh, making them. This is made out of um, uh, foam, nice thick foam. And we cut it up and shaped it up in a couple of pieces. And the lady was made separate. And those pieces right there were made separate. And then the top was made separate as well. 
and she is awesome. Hold on, let me move the chair so I don't damage it because I don't. My son took it down on his wall, and he's like, "Mom, be careful with it." <laughs> so that's the face, and this is a shield. It has the handle, and it. it do you remember the name of the character that that's supposed to be for? Oh, that no, was for like a Comic-Con. Yeah, had a, a light something. pink. Yeah. I don't remember the, the name of it. But it was like a bird with a white beak and and I we made the beak. I don't know, but I'm, I don't know if I have the picture either. I think I do, but I don't remember the name and I don't wanna go ask him right now. But this is pretty lightweight and I added the, like some plastic to hold it and some wire and put foil on it and foil on the back. So it's pretty lightweight. This takes, I don't know, this probably like three three months or two months. Me and Jenny and Francisco, Annie Manuel worked on this project. You remember, Jenny? A family project, yeah. It was a family <laughs> project. And then to go with that costume, I made the needle to go with it, the big giant needle. Thank you. Wow, Patsy. And this is made out of clay. And I have bought a needle and like a plastic needle from Amazon, cut it in half. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you how I make it. You could do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is your time. Right. And the bottle, um, it's actually a, a bottle of, um, from the dollar store of bubbles. I empty the bubbles. Yes, I empty the the bubble was green. No, the bubble I empty the bu I I empty the bubble or I used the bubble and I added some color. Yeah. I used the bubble and I added some coloring food to make it green. Food coloring. Very cool. Yeah, food coloring. And then these are made out of clay. This is made out of clay. And this is made out of um foam. And this is made out of foam. See how it can bend? So the big giant needle. Who wants the shot? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the flu shot, you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that is my third item. How much time do I have? You have eight oh, minutes. Hurry up, hurry up, because I got to show you the creepy. Close your eyes, Devin. <laughs> the creepy doll so she, she was a doll. regular princess doll and i made her into a creepy doll with bloody face i we put some missing hair on there oh don't look cordelia don't look <laughs> oh, oh, oh no is she there yeah. yeah, it's fine. It is fine. She doesn't care. Okay, it's fine. cool. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, that's okay. no okay. worries. The dress, um, I took a regular doll dress. I took the lollipop and put blood on it, put the regular doll, and I dipped it in to make it age. I dipped it in coffee or tea, and then I splatter some blood and make it distressed, and I painted her all white, and this is all painting. All painting, even her foot has blood and that takes a that took me like four days and then <laughs> this one you wear it with a, a wig and it's a doll face and she has the crack and I hand painted this and this is a doll face mask so I closed in the hole in the mouth and then I painted the rest of it. So Thank cool. you. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I put it on one day. Yeah. I just threw my hair in front of it. Put it on so they can see how it looks. There you I go. I have to throw my hair in front of it. Hold on. <clears throat> so that's a creepy doll, guys. It looks creepy when she puts it on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up your hair, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so you have five 
five minutes left. Do you want to tell us, Miss Patsy, if you make custom orders, if you're selling any of these things? Uh, what's, what's your spiel on that? Um, I do make custom orders, but they're like on ugly sweater day, uh, ugly sweaters uh, for Christmas. And I do have one, but I, I don't think I have time to show you. And if any of these stuff that I make, except the big props, that will have to be, um, you have to let me know like a month ahead. Yeah. Because so just like anything that you see, all of these creations are artisan made. So like Miss Patsy said, you have to let her know, let any of us know a certain time in advance because it's our blood, sweat, and tears that's pouring into all these amazing, amazing things. Yes, yes. I have one more if I can show it. Yes, please. Yes. <gasps> He's so cool. I forgot and about my, my son already requests him, but if anybody wants it, um, you can um, email me and I can make one for you. But yes, guys, cool. guys, the ugly sweaters is actually on her Etsy. It's on my Etsy. That is in the description box, so make sure you check her out. She always makes a lot of ugly uh, yeah and i'll be making some this year actually starting in uh by the end of october i start making some because i get a lot of orders so this is really cool so again to claim anything uh ask miss patsy any questions she does have an etsy i have been linking her channel in the chat um and also her email is also in the description box down below as well and right. that is everything I showed. Thank <laughs> you, Mom, for showing you. Is my showing time up? Your uh, you stuff. have four minutes if you want to do a quick recap. Oh, my gosh. For the date of the dead. <laughs> and Jenny <laughs> wore this one. I so did. So And you paint your face with a skull. Yeah. And it's very easy to put on. Just stretch it. And then, okay, so this one, the Alice in Wonderland um, costume, which is an updated one, the, the creepy dolls, which I got to get some more dolls for it, the, the doll face mask, and uh, the creepy mask. And if I can get my ugly one, one ugly sweater, I can show it. Yep. So, guys, just like you know, Jenny said in the beginning, hopefully this inspires any one of you if you're out and about and you see an old doll and you're needing some kind of decorations. Look at what Cassie did to an old doll. Um, we're so excited to see everybody here, not only jewelry, but other things as well. Look at that. <laughs> and this one's My Little Pony. Oh my God. And it's loaded with everything. This one's already made. This one, I have it on my Etsy. Really cute. And then this one I just started, and this one's going to be loaded with jewelry. It's not finished yet. But I'm going to start loading it with a lot of jewelry right here. Oh, and my gosh. Uh, so that, one is, that one is in the process. Yeah, this one just started. So that's a little sneak peek, you guys, <laughs> of her ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> but you can ask me what you want on it. You can, I can, I put a doll on it and it's wrapped up and I could put Barbie and Ken or whatever, you know. Actually, you've you done like. one of those. You've done one of those. <laughs> yeah, I did it. And I did the, uh, the Grinch as well, the hands and the. Uh, and, and you so. also did um, a Three Kings one as well. Yes. <laughs> yep. That is everything. So thank you, ladies, for having me. Thank you so thank much, you. Mom. Thank you so much, Miss Patsy. All righty. Okay. Bye, Mom. Okay. Thank you. All thank right. You. Bye. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to take it out. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. Okay, okay, okay. okay.
All right, our next guest. There you go. There you go. Hello. <laughs> I got to follow up those wonderful creators. <laughs> uh, Patsy is is so amazingly talented with everything she does with the jewelry stuff she puts together. Jude, everybody I've watched so far is great. Um, I've got different things that I'm going to show from four different people, counting myself and my family. We all try to do a little bit of something. Meredith um, has got a passion for uh, restringing bracelets. She loves stone. She um, these are some. She's got different sizes. These ones are like for larger wrists, plus size people, or for guys. You know, guys are wearing the stone bracelets now. I love how she combined the carnelian and the onyx. It's really cool. She has done lots of different colors and shapes. She's made some for child size. She even dabbled around and made a ring. Um, cool. This is another one, and she's done some uh, various these with different, like the so chevron amethyst. She went between the chunks and the small ones, but she had some more she forgot to bring over, and she's about 45 minutes from me, but she does a lot of different ones. She will restring and repurpose um, bracelets that are stretched out. Um, I do jewelry. I will either take beads and make something from scratch or I will repurpose components. I hate to see something that maybe part of it is tarnished and but it's still beautiful and it's going to be thrown away. Here is um we do these things Meredith's bracelets start around eight dollars and go up depending upon what you want. We can make them uh, custom. I have tons of different stones and she's got uh, as much as I've got to work with, she has too. She's constantly buying things. This is an example of where I took some different uh, beads and made a pair of earrings. They're about that long. We just have some bling. Um, that's just, that's acrylic. I have got some here I've made from garnets and moonstone and peridot in sterling silver. Um, I took a necklace that was broken and took these large fold beads and they are freshwater pearls above and below. Let's see. Um, I take some different sets. This was a, I'll show you. I hooked this on. It's like kind of like a Y necklace, but this was from a um, abalone bracelet that had broken. I took the little uh, bracelet apart and used various parts. I matched up the uh, pieces of abalone that were dyed to get the closest match. There's a freshwater pearl with that, and then the earrings to go with it. Oh my God, that's, that's so, so pretty. pretty. I've got a couple of other things. So John's trying to help me here. Will you take those out of my hand? Let's swap. Um, I got a beautiful cra a craft lot. You know, you never know what you're going to get had a beautiful earring. I was hoping the other one was there. It was not. So I took the earring, reconfigured it a little bit, and made a pendant out of it. Aww, and I had some beads that were of similar shade, so I pulled in some earrings that would kind of go with it. Give me just a second. Um, and... Some of you know I've sold before. I, I will take chunks or chips of stones and make some, um, like, tree of lives. This is one of my earlier versions. This is colored glass and colored um, wire. I made matching earrings to go with it. I have done lapis and uh, moonstone and... Labradorite. This is one of my latest creations. I haven't been able to let it go yet. It's cherry quartz and it has a tree, sw a tire swing in the tree. And I made some different style earrings that are articulating a little bit longer in the same cherry quartz. And I was just playing around the last couple of days and I had some beads that reminded me of like candy corn. So I made a pair of earrings. And a pendant to go with it. You get a fall vibe here. <laughs> I had some scully beads. 
I made a little skull with various pendants here. I had a beautiful necklace that was um, Halite that came to me in the mail and it was broken. Uh, so I reused the beads with some onyx um, that I had and made a pair of earrings. I hope I'm not going too fast through things. Um, Meredith loves uh, Dalmatian Jasper and um, Snowflake Obsidian. And I combined them into like a, a long pendant that you showing me oh just these are, these are some ceramic beads they're little owls oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. that's front and back of it if you want to let us if you know, want to let us know we have been putting your email mm -hmm. in the chat around how, us, uh, in and oh, around how much okay. item you okay. absolutely thank you um the sets like the earrings and the necklaces they they'll start at like ten dollars and go up the one that had like a little abalone heart and the freshwater pearls would be around ten dollars the um tree of life with the real stones and the earrings would be up closer to the twenty dollar end um it just depends upon what stones are put into it and what you want i mean i have this is all sterling silver and tiger's eye this one would be around eight dollars if I'm using sterling and tiger's eye or a stone, these are some new things to me that I just, I have an arrowhead that I wrapped. It's a tree agate and I wrapped with copper wire so it would be able to go on any kind of bell that you had. I have a, and those would probably, I would say, be around the eight to ten dollar mark. Just depends, like I said, on the size and, and the, the material I'm working with. This is a um, carnelian arrowhead wrapped with black matte wire. I have an amethyst disc, I like a donut, and wrapped it with some lavender wire. These are around the $10 to $12 mark, depending on what they are. I had a coin uh, uh, like a Chinese coin that is carved out of onyx with and these are just aluminum wires Dif the different color ones and I believe this this is moss agate with an aged copper wire I love that one <laughs> so cute yeah, yeah. I love Okay, and they, and like I said, they run various, I think I've showed most of my stuff in Meredith's. John does a little bit of things. He and he and um, Dalton have always do some paracord type things, but John has now gotten into some wood burning and different carving. He made Meredith a welcome sign for the front of her house. This is just a cute little cutout of wood that he put a triple J on, and you know, there's all kinds of little different things. He's got different cutouts of things. Something like this would be around the five dollar mark. Um, he's got this sign, which could be a good Christmas present for your man. Uh -huh. This one would be about this one's ten dollars. It can also come in this color, also like a washed color. I can do anything that you want. Anything on it. like house numbers, welcome. Um, you know how people put like their last name and established like when they got married and started their family. You can do those kind of things. These are some different in paracord they do a little bit of everything. This is a bracelet. It's got the American flag cord with some skulls. Anything with paracord plus components would be around the twelve dollar mark. It takes them a while to do these. This is everybody, you know, you're wearing mask everywhere. Uh, and it hurts your ears. <laughs> this is, I know Jenny's got some that are the crochet. Dalton did one that is paracord. You hook this over, your, it's an ear saver. You hook that over your ears behind your head and then you can adjust it to, to it fit. Awesome. It, any colors, um, you know, he did it three different colors. Th this would be around $5. 
The keychains would be around the five to seven dollar mark. There's an American flag with a um, bullet casing in it. Guy stocking stuffers. <laughs> Guys are hard to buy for for me. Dalton's also working right now on a leash. He's paracording a leash for the new dog. Awesome. <laughs> Here's one with hex bolts for you, for you guys or girls. Some girls like to work on cars. Here's a girl bling one. There's all kinds of things that we can put in them. There's a beautiful rainbow. I don't know if y'all remember when I was doing the benefit for Brenda in, I think it was April, they did Dragonfly keychains, and it it has the double wings like a, um, yes. the Dragonfly. This is just a plain, this plain bracelet, be around the 8 to $10 mark, just depends on what it is. This one will glow in the dark. There's a more feminine one. We have multiple colors. Yeah, all different colors. Dalton is, you know, he's got ADHD, and a lot of people love these little fidget things that you can use and kind of play with. Anxiety, it helps relieve things. These are some little, I mean, they're just like you, you spin them around, you play with them. They call them like the little nunchucks, but there's the paracord with the shell, and these are other ones. He plays with these a lot. That's and nice. then here's one. Just kind of fidget with it. These will be around the five dollar mark. Cute little stocking stuffers. My goodness, is so creative. So creative. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is about all that I have. I may have ended up a little um, bit early. Them, we have oh. about four, four minutes. minutes. So if you want to go okay. over some things in the beginning that maybe you didn't put a price on. Okay, let's see what uh, I did. We'll do that. that. All righty. Meredith, the bracelets that are the larger chunk ones would be right around the $10 mark. If they're small, you know, I'd say between the $8 to $12 mark with those bracelets. Um, I think these are cute. The little rings, you don't see anybody do that. that that's about $5 mark. Matching bracelets. Kids' bracelets would be around the $5 mark. Just cute little things i mean we it's hard to shop when you go out you're running the risk of running into people or being exposed to things not to sound scary but you know some people just don't care and they're not going to take precautions you wear a mask a lot of times to, it's, it's to protect other people um and yourself and i would much rather buy from my friends here online from the comfort of my home in my pajama bottoms if I want to <laughs> or my leggings <laughs> and um you, you can get everything from these people from our, our group of friends online from clothing to shoes to jewelry um I have got I got this shirt it's an Ed Hardy shirt I got um for four dollars from somebody plus shipping we've got a good group network subscribe to each other um we'll do custom orders i will sell these things i am on i do auctions i am on sunday and wednesdays and some of these things that you see here will be in there if you that's, that's, that's exactly, exactly what i was thinking um i see here that mm -hmm. um <clears throat> he said i need to the dark Collar for my dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's making he's dog collars. The um dog collars because it takes it takes a long time and a lot of stuff. I mean just just the collar by itself would probably be around the fifteen dollar mark if you wanted the collar and the leash. You're talking probably twenty five dollars, but they're that much in the store and this these are very sturdy. You're not getting one like that hold up as well as these. And I can make a bigger Cobra knot too. Yeah. Better work on a different. Yeah. He's working on right now. He's doing the regular cobra knot. Mm -hmm. There's also a thing called a king cobra knot uh, that he's yeah. got to work on. He hasn't mastered it. He has mastered the uh, cobra knot. So. And he's trying to find some bracelet patterns that we ladies may like. So I may show some samples of some different things he's trying to see what uh, you like. He was looking at one that was a bracelet that had like daisies on it. So. There's a lot of things you can do. It, it helps him to occupy his time and, you know, 
keep <laughs> keeps us having fun and gives you good things. I've seen so many things that um, from the ladies above previous to me. My son walked out and said he saw Jude's wands and he said, "Oh my gosh!" You know, <laughs> and then the Halloween costumes. Guys are creative, and uh, we appreciate uh, you and Devin giving us a place to spotlight um, what we do so that people know. Oh, my God. Oh so much fun. Fun. Thank you so, so much, much for sharing. sharing. I, 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 so, so much fun. Much fun. In, in, in <laughs> <laughs> That's Austin will color you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> he he said yes. He'll color you a picture <laughs> with orders. We'll send a picture out with the orders from Austin. <laughs> uh, so he's oh, oh he's showing. Him. Him. He is, um, let me see what you got. He, I got a jewelry lot, and he loves this bracelet. And he was trying to show you his bracelet I gave him. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. 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 So as you might have seen throughout the time, we went ahead and listed um, her link, her channel link, and also her email so that if you see anything um, and you want, uh, feel free to just email her, yes. subscribe to each other's channel. You guys, we got some talented, awesome bunch. We appreciate each and every one of you. Next up, we have... So exciting. Uh, yes, so the next... New stone muse magic uh that is josephine i'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and put her on hi here you go it's your show welcome 15 well, minutes oh, start hi. yeah i know when i saw jude's hat i was like wait i'm wearing my hat too <laughs> <laughs> Love it. well thank you for featuring me on your show today i'm so excited to be here and like i've been shopping with you guys and enjoying the sales you guys are doing. So I'm really excited to be here. Um, so um, my name is Josephine, but I'm also known as the Stone Muse. And um, so Stone Muse Magic was just kind of like very natural for me to call. Instead of being like the Stone Muse, I decided to call my uh, business Stone Muse Magic. So basically, I've been working with stones and crystals and making jewelry and working with the energy of stones for about 20 years. And so I started out by, well, actually, I, I could say I've been working with stones since I was four years old because I would play in the dirt and stones would literally speak to me <laughs> when I was like four years old. So I remember conversations with stones when I was a little, little baby. Um, but for like, let's just say for the last 20 years since I was 16, I've been working with stones and I've had my own business. Um, I've literally been doing festivals and I have not been really online that much for my whole career. And then the situation happened to where <laughs> there was no more festivals. And I was like, let me figure out how to do this. Um, and so I started selling on Instagram. I started selling on Instagram um, in March. And so, and then I met Devin um, and it was just kind of like, okay, the universe is telling me to switch gears and start selling stuff online. So the whole world can see my stuff and who I am, which is a little bit, a little bit intimidating at times, but um, basically I have been doing um, jewelry. I used to work, I used to live in Los Angeles and I, I did the jewelry for the Ghost Whisperer many years ago. So a lot of uh, people wore my jewelry and stuff on that show. And so that was kind of a really cool thing. Um, so That's right now I'm on Instagram at Stone Muse Magic and I also do live sales at um Satara stones which let me see if I could I don't know if you could see that Satara stones so I'm sure they'll link everything um yes. but today everything I wanted to everything is in the description everybody so make sure you check oh. her out 
Okay, cool, cool. I wanted to do something a little bit different because I do these um, usually around the holiday times. I do these Stone Muse Magic Boxes. So these are really big boxes. This is actually Devin's box <laughs> that I haven't given her yet. Ooh, <laughs> so here it is. Hey. It's real. I made it. Um, yeah, it's full. It's full. It's heavy and full. So what this is, is um, I call it my Stone Muse magic box, uh, my mystery box. And so what it is, it's all these magical things that I make. So um, might be a little bit of a spoiler to you, but not really, because you don't know what stones are in here. But um, I make these really cool sprays and everything has crystals in them. So basically there's stones and crystals in here. Um, I make these candles, which I think Jenny, you got, you got one of my candles. So, yes. you know, there's a stone, there's a stone in there. Um, and I make these soaps and there's stones inside here. So everything has stones in it. Um, and then there is a possibility to get, um, on the large boxes. There's my camera. On the large boxes, I'm going to have sterling silver pendants and sterling silver chains. Um, I also have a possibility of getting stones like this big. Um, so let me, can I, can I switch my camera to show like the other side during, yes. during the sale? Okay. Um, I don't know how to do that specifically, but I think what I'll do is I'll try to turn my camera around just to show you a little bit more. Can you guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so these are kind of the stones that um, that I have that are possibly going to be in your box, but also on my live sale tomorrow at Sitara Stones. So I know it's kind of like showing the back part. I don't really know what I'm showing right there, but <laughs> let me get my camera set back. Usually Magical, I have that's, my- That's what you're showing. <laughs> You saw the stones? <laughs> yes, beautiful. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it wasn't something weird. Okay, cool. So, um, and then, so there's a lot of stones um, that I showed that usually I have the camera and I'm not showing myself. So this is something new for me. <laughs> so bear with me if I'm like all doing this wrong, but um, I make these little, these little crystallings. And these are made out of clay. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. And so this one actually is mine that I'm keeping, but I just to show you like some of these clay pieces can make it into your box. So you can, ha so you can hang that, that has uh, something to hang. Yeah, it this is like you hang it. Yeah, you so hang it. Cool. There's a little uh wire. And um, I had to step away for a second, but did you go over the prices for the mystery boxes? No, not yet. So I'm doing okay. this big box. This big box is 50 and the value is there's six to eight, like really nice items. And it's $50. The value is 75 to hundred dollars retail in this box. And then for you guys, I also came up with a mini box. It's called Mini Magic Box. And it's three to five items. And the values, um, it's $33. And then the value is $50. So I wanted to make two different options. In case you just need a little mini magic, that's fine. Um, but these boxes are stocked full. And I'm sure, Devin, you'll be opening that and you can show people your reactions. <laughs> I literally you. cannot wait. If you want to, you could show people your box. It's up to you. Um, I have on the box here, it says Crystal Mystery Box. And then it says, in this box is waiting, and magic is waiting for you in this box. Open it when you're ready. <laughs> so... It's really cool. Very cool. Yeah. So guys, of course, to claim a box, 
Um, I went ahead and also put the link to her email address, um, to her website, to her Instagram. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, you do weekly stone shows on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so we'll have that listed down below as well. Mm -hmm. At Satara Stones, it's a little bit different. My Stone Muse Magic Instagram is just mostly like me talking about stones and crystals and like their, their properties. Um, and then I decided to open up a channel for um, for to, to live sale. And so that's um, Satara Stones. And it's, it's actually, I have one coming up tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific. So all the stuff you saw and much more is going to be. And I do this thing where I do like it's called It's Magic. And I do this thing um, where I pull out a discount. So you get a discount for every single item you claim. I pull out a 10% to 50% discount on each item that you claim. So I do that just because I really want to make it kind of fun and exciting for people. So, um, so that is one thing I do. And then also I noticed that you guys have so many creative people on your channel. And because I've been doing jewelry for 20 years, which seems like, such a long time when I think about it and say it out loud. Um, I have a huge bead collection that I'm de-stashing right now. And so I've been doing these bead de-stash. So I have an Instagram, um, Devin knows about that. Yeah, it. it's a slippery slope, y'all. It's really fun. It's <laughs> lady. It's really fun because I literally sold out of I think I did 15 lots yesterday. Um, so I'm going to do them on Fridays and that's at Dragonfly Market. And I'm sure Devin can share the link if, if she could share it. Um, but yeah, that's a really fun, yes, that's yes. a really fun. Yeah. And I do like $25 lots. And so basically I just pile a bunch of um, gemstones, Swarovski crystals, um, art glass. Um, so I, I've been seeing what everybody's been making and I'm like, oh my gosh, they would love my BD stash sale because you can get really good quality stones and crystals and like a lot of great beads. Um, and I just love to see what people make creatively with it. Like it's really cool to see what people make with the beads. So I have a huge collection I'm de-stashing. So I'm just really excited um, at the whole concept of kind of sharing my little magic with the world and connecting with everybody. And it's been really fun. So that's pretty much what I, how much time do I have left? To you like, have yabber? four minutes. Four minutes, okay. so. Um, maybe what I'll do is I will just for four minutes, I'm just going to just talk about the energy of a stone. Is that okay? Yes. Do okay. It. <laughs> so this stone is called gray moonstone and it is beautiful. So I think, um, you know, we all know rainbow moonstone. See the shine in that. It's beautiful. We we all know rainbow moonstone, but moonstone comes in different colors. There's gray moonstone, there's peach moonstone, there's white moonstone, and then there's like rainbow moonstone. And this stone is so helpful for releasing like deep anger and deep um, emotional trauma. And so I actually sleep with stones. <laughs> People people laugh at me when I say that, but I literally will sleep with a stone on my chest. It'll roll around in the night, but like I will have stones on me when I fall asleep. Um, so it's true. It's true. Um, so I literally love this stone. I've been working with this stone recently because I think a lot of times we have stuff that's really deep that things trigger and then it comes up. And then we don't know why we're yelling at our husband about the dishes, um, but it's usually not about the dishes. And so, <laughs> so this gray moonstone is really good to help just to just to figure out and release and bring up um, some so some issues. So that's specifically with the gray moonstone. 
Yeah, gray moonstone helps to release anger. Um, it moonstone in general is about kind of balancing the emotions mm -hmm. and also balancing the hormones in our body because hormones are so they rule our whole body and they rule our brain and how we think about things. So the I really like to kind of balance the um, the the metaphysical with the scientific on my stones. I like to know like what stones are helping with what and specifically um, how they've been used throughout history, uh, what their lore is. Um, so moonstone, because women are ruled by the moon. Um, so our energy is very lunar. Um, so moon, and we have a moon cycle every month. So our mo moonstone is a very natural stone for to help women and regulate hormones and regulate and balance everything so um so these will be on my live sale i have some palm stones i have that big heart um and i just wanted to feature that one because if somebody's out there and they need some emotional balancing and they need some help with that any kind of moonstone will help but this will specifically help to release um anger and deep um stress anxiety and worry and I don't know about you guys, but we're all kind of feeling that. Everybody <laughs> right a little bit of that stone, yeah. <laughs> a little so, Just to recap, because we have a little under a minute left, guys, I went ahead and linked her Instagram, her email, her website. So any of the things that you've seen as far as mystery boxes, natural stone shows, any questions, she's an amazing resource for not only beads, jewelry supplies, but you saw the magic that literally flowed out of her mouth in regards to metaphysical and spiritual meaning behind stone. She is a resource that literally is invaluable. So amazing. Thank you. You're making me blush. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you I, so much for joining it, us. That was amazing. It is good to see you. you on camera. Now we get to put a face to. <laughs> I know. Yes. Usually when I see Devin, this is all she sees. Because I'm wearing. <laughs> yes. It's nice this to see my that face. face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. Thank and if so anybody much. has questions on any stones they'll need, just send me a dm on instagram i'll be happy to help you find a stone for you yes check her thank you. out thank you so much for joining us have a good 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 weekend <laughs> yeah i'm excited to see what else is on the show thank you yeah that's thank true you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. thank you all right okay all right so next up we have flipping crazy lisa your Hi 15 guys. minutes starts now. All Welcome. Right. <laughs> I don't have a lot of actual items, but I do have a lot of photographs I can show you guys. Now that I hooked up my external camera for this view instead of just the camera down view, I can actually show you some good close-ups. Um, most of my stuff has sold or been given away. So um, I just want to start off with this one thing. I do crafts and I do fine art. I do um, custom artwork on various things. If you have a thing, I can paint it for you. Um, this I'm going to be doing a video later on. It's going to be up for silent auction and uh, all proceeds are going to go to a kitten rescue, but it is a sugar skull. And this is actually a box. This is a box. You can actually open it up. It is a sugar skull and he has yellow stone eyes. Let me turn this candle on. The candle's not attached and the skull's not attached in case you want to move them around. Um, it's got a flickering candle on it. It's got black roses. And um, this will be up for our silent auction. I'm going to be doing a little video on my channel for this. So be looking for that later on today. It's like a faux book, but it's actually a box. That's so cool. And you said it opens? It Yes. Um <laughs> So you could hide things in there. There you go, your little stash. <laughs> your little stash box. Let me hold him. Nice deep box. So people probably wouldn't think that it was a box. And you could put stuff in there that you don't want people to mess with. So um, I will be posting that video later. Um, other, 
I just have some, I have three jackets here. I can't find my fourth one. Um, these are the only things that I still physically have uh, possession of that are the actual items. I do have my hood liner for my car, but it is huge. And I wouldn't, I couldn't get it in here to show that to you guys. Um, so these are things from a while ago. Like I did this one back in the early nineties. This one is for sale. If anybody's interested, it's a vintage Lee jacket. Um, it does have, I mean, it's been around the block a couple times, but I hand painted John Lennon, John Lennon on this one. Oh my God, Lisa, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so I did this like back in 1990 or 91 or something like that. So there's that. So if anybody's interested, they can send me an email. It's not a very jacket, but it is a vintage Lee jacket. Um, then I have this one. It's a vest. I used to have this on display when I, I had a little shop in a, in a flea market. I had a store and it's just like this old bleached washed out vest. And I did the artwork on this. Sick. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at the little bears on the bottom too. <laughs> so I have that one. And guys, I want to move next year. So I'm going to be selling off a lot of my prize possessions. This this one took me a long time to do. Just do, you have a price on, that. do you have a price on that? They're asking how much. Um, they can email me. I really haven't thought of a price on this stuff. All right. Email is in the chat and also in the description box. I'm periodically putting the channel link so you can definitely check them out at their YouTube channel. Uh, this one has seen better days. As you can tell, it was well loved for a long time. It had conchos on the pockets and everything, but they're no longer in existence. Um, I painted the back of this one and embellished it. Oh, my God. It's amazing. So he's got little red stone eyes and a little feather thing with the, and I, I cut suede from a vintage jacket. So. Guys, there's so much hidden talent here. She's hiding. Oh my, I want to literally sleep with that on. That is sick. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with some craft stuff that I've done. I'm just going to show you photographs and I, I have my external camera so I can get closer. And then we're going to move into some more of the artwork that I did, the custom painted stuff. Um, so I would start off with stuff like this, uh, ceramics, custom painted, the angel to match that I would do if I worked for a lady that had a ceramic shop and customers would want custom orders and she would tell me exactly what they wanted. And then I would try to do that. So then this, uh, shaker box I painted. Come on, it's a shaker box that I painted. That's so cool. This was a wizard I, I painted with a dragon. He's holding a crystal ball on his book. But um, yeah, I love this one here. It's got the stones on it too. And it's got a little bit of uh, black. I forget what it was that I put there in the bottom, but I just love the sword, the design on the sword. Like I said, this is stuff from a long time ago. I don't have it anymore. I would do custom stencil one-off t-shirts for friends of mine that had boots in the mall too. Come on. You don't like this one? There we go. So that was for a magician. I did a, a shirt for him. And then when I was younger, I would do these. I know a lot of you did stuff like that back in the day. That was from 1988. I did one for guys, a uh, tire cover, the bird on it, on his Jeep. This was for a DJ. Um, below is his sign, and then I custom painted the logo on his jacket. And I, I copied the exact color, too, that he wanted. So the bottom was the sign he gave me for reference, and the top is the satin jacket that I did. This is a magician sign from his booth. 
Oh God, love the card. This way. So it was a big old sign hanging up. This was another booth sign for somebody. They had coins. Come on. That one. And then I'll just show you some more of the crafty stuff I did. These wow. And what would you say um, you have the most fun in doing? Do you like doing more of the script work? Do you like doing more of the floral or Native American? What What is your favorite um, uh, outlet, I guess? Horror, rock and roll, and Native American. Like flowers Heck like yeah. this, not so much. Not into the, like into the floofy kind of, you know, floofy yeah. stuff. Um, this was two different model kits I made out of resin. I assembled and then I painted them and they, they were one, this one was like this big. And then this one was like this big, but it's, um, Vampirella. There it is. Cool. So I think she was 18 inches tall and you had to go her collar, her fingernails, um, her earrings. And then this one fit literally fit in the palm of your hand. So it was very hard to paint. Come on, you don't want this one? There we go. With a magnifying glass, right? <laughs> it was it was difficult. Um, these are Hellraiser. These were um, model kits. Hellraiser model. Oh kits. my gosh, that movie! That is nuts. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Gosh, it's amazing. Come on. I want to show close ups. There you go. So, oh all the tools God. had to be cut out individually and hung on her. The chain had to be assembled. Um, he's got, she's got that thing that goes through her nose, the Cenobite. You can't see it because it's too. I, I had to make that thing that w opened up her throat there with wire. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lisa, you have a speechless. <laughs> this was a ceramic that I, um, it was supposed to be custom colored match to the couch. So I did, I did this, um, I did this ceramic. Why is it so washed out? There you go. So I custom colored match that to match their couch. This was a custom model kit that I did of the Hulk. You can oh, see his cool. veins popping out and everything. <laughs> he looks scary. <laughs> I would be scared if, if I turn around and he's looking there at me like that. Uh, Devin, you're on mute. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was I was totally geeking out. The depth <laughs> and the detail of any of those artworks, it's so difficult to achieve because you have to, you know, basically catch the light and and the darkness of it. It is not an easy thing to do, to bring anything wow. that is just a one dimensional color to life like that there is next go. level. Wow. That's, That's beautiful. beautiful. My rose, I did. I know you say you don't like doing the roses too much, but that is gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, wow. These are uh, wall, wall hangings. Oh my gosh with real feathers. How much time do I have? Am I going too slow? You have four minutes left. All right, I'm gonna have to so, hurry you. Um, do you want to talk about like the things that you're you're wanting to do as far as if people want to make custom orders, what you can do? Whatever um, they want, whatever they want, whatever they can fail me. Want. There's a Mandela I did. Here's another Mandel. I'm going to go faster because we only have four minutes. I want to show you guys as much as possible so you know what kind of stuff I could do. Boom. That. Come on, focus. It's amazing. Come on, I'm going to run out of time. My there mom says, my son loves you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Jenny. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. 
That's so beautiful. That's a Mandela. Um, I'm going to try to show you a couple special ones I've done. I did this one with roses on it, 3D roses. Um, hurry up. And it's got a dream catcher. It is a dream catcher. That's gorgeous. Lisa, I, I cannot that. wait to see what you make next. I literally cannot wait. I'm going to skip over some of these. I did this table. This is the top of the table. I did Freddy Krueger. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was so afraid of Freddy Krueger as a child. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is Eddie from uh, Iron Maiden and I copied the color scheme onto the plaster mold from the VHS cover. If, if it would focus. Focus, please. Here you go. That's Eddie. Um, let me get to the back. Here's a pelican I did uh, for somebody's fence. Big wooden cutout. My uh, mom would love that. This is a motorcycle helmet. Leather jacket for somebody. Come on, camera, you're wasting my time. But yeah, if anybody wants to, all right, we'll skip that one. Here's a uh, ceramic skull I did. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Next level. I literally cannot even decide what's my favorite thing that you've made. Corvette, that's a back of a jacket. Somebody stingray. I did t-shirts for people. Oh, here's a John Lennon shirt I did. So guys, if you're interested in anything, see something that she has done and have an idea of what you want. Bear in mind, just with anything that any of these artisans are showing today, um, everything takes time. They're pouring their blood, sweat, and tears, precious time into all of this amazing artwork. So definitely check out Lisa's <laughs> YouTube. I know Lisa has a Facebook um, group. You can check. Wow. Um, wow. You can check that out. Um, also, her email is also in the chat in the description box down below, just like many of the other ones. Prices obviously will vary depending on the item, That's the Harley. detail. Um, Amazing. Kiss. This, is my favorite. this is my favorite. This is the back of an army jacket. I did the kiss. Uh, this one took me about two months to paint. Good gravy. This, I copied it onto their jacket from their sign. So, so that is time, Miss Lisa. All right. Thank you guys so much for um, having me on. I appreciate it. And guys, just email if me. You're interested in getting anything done. If you have something you want me to paint or if you want me to make something for you, just check out my channel too, guys. Please subscribe and send me an email if you're interested in anything. I could do crafts. I could do fine art. So thank you thank guys. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Okay. So next up, we have Patty Paws. Patty Paws. Hi, everyone. Hi, Patty. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, you're going to do awesome. You're going to do fine. Thank you. <laughs> so show us. Tell okay. us First thing I want to show you is my, a skull that I painted. Ooh. I like skulls, so I... It takes a long time, but it's fun and it's very relaxing. Yes. <laughs> That's one. Love that. Here's another one. Love the bright colors. Second one. I also like doing Day of the Dead Dolls. 
And guys, since this is Patty's first time, let's blow up the chat with some butterflies. You know, Miss Patty loves her butterflies. Yes. So give her the confidence, boost her up, butterfly emoji, the house down for Miss Patty. Thank you. Here's a here's another day of the dead um, doll that I made. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. She's made out of paper. So that's like a paper mache? Yes. Fire? Cool. Here's another one. <laughs> the chat is full of butterflies, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I have my laptop on the side and I see all them butterflies. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Here's another one that I made. Look at the face. Uh, show us the face closely. <laughs> so, Patty, are you selling these? Uh, what's what's the what's the dealio? Well, <laughs> it depends if somebody will want one. I can I can make them. It takes me about maybe like a week. And what are the prices vary? Because we got a, you got a lot of compliments on those black sugar skulls. Um. I guess they can they can email me. I I really didn't even think of a prices for them because they're like so okay. heavy. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be putting um, Patty's YouTube uh, channel link in the chat, so guys feel free to subscribe, and I'll also be putting her email in there as well. And it's also in the description box, you guys. So if you guys miss anything, just go back to the description box. Everybody's information is there. Make sure you subscribe and hit everybody up. Yesterday I made um, the charm, the spider. Cool. Did the you make that spider? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Actually, I made a bunch of them. I'll show you right now. I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh, so cool. I also like to make jewelry. Yes, I made this necklace also. I made some jasper with black jasper. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Love it. And I also made these earrings. These are rose quartz with sterling silver fish hooks and pins. Beautiful. Thank you. Here's another set. Oh, and Jamie, thank you for my ring. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> And let me see. And I also made these earrings. They're skulls, and crosses. So if you guys see anything that you like, you're interested in, and want something custom, looks like she is the master of the Day of the Dead Sugar Skulls. Feel free to email Miss Patty, of course. I also made all, all these earrings. Bring them up a little bit closer. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh look at that big spider. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you. I also am um, going to start working on resin. I'm going to make some ashtrays. I'm going to put them on Instagram. Can you see this one? It's a skull. Uh, the, lighting is, the lighting is flushing it out. But you're, yeah, right there. I see it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to start working on those. I didn't have time, but um, they're going to be ashtrays. Wow, Patty. Yeah, but that's basically, I like to, I like to, 
I like to sit down and uh, make earrings, bracelets, a little bit of everything. Yes, I, I was excited to see what you make with all these craft lots. Um, <laughs> it's amazing to see what you've done. And I love the sugar skulls. We all love the sugar skulls. Yeah, oh, I like this one. This is my favorite. And what is it made out of? Well, it's um, it's like not clay. I'm not sure what uh, exactly it is, but it was all white. And I just I just painted everything myself. Oh my goodness! So it's, it's kind of heavy. Very nice. Thank you. Those are huge. <laughs> Enormous. It is. It's huge. Yep. And I love that it has braces. <laughs> Here are some other spiders that I made. Ooh. I wanted a, I was gonna make like a sun catcher. I think that's what they're called. Yes. Oh awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now let's make this necklace. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, Look at that. Ooh. Those earrings match it. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Thank you. So you display all your work on your Instagram? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on there. Okay, awesome. Make sure you guys check her out. This is awesome things. I love the the sugar skull uh, displays to the um, the mannequin ones. Those are so cute. Oh, the, the, the Katrina. <laughs> Actually, this was made out of. I mean, the the bottom is made out of a bottle, and oh. the dress the dress is made out of paper. What? Yeah, look, it's a bottle. But Show us the whole thing again. What was that? Show Bring us the whole thing again. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. It's like an echo. Um, let's see the top of it. Let's see the whole thing <laughs> of that one that you were just showing. I can't get the angle correct. It's always the opposite when you're on the computer. Okay, yeah. there you go. Beautiful. She's holding a cigarette. Yes. <laughs> yes. This one reminds me of my mom. Oh my oh. Yeah. yeah, she has a cigarette. Love the hat with the feather. Oh my gosh. That's made out of clay. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all basically all, everything that I have to show right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, and, and this blouse is from Vib, Texas Sparkle. Oh. <laughs> well, good on you. You have five minutes. Do you want to do a quick show of everything, just really quick again, so everyone can get an idea, especially those earrings that you had on the stand? Okay. Handmade by Miss Patty herself. We have some amazing artists that are showing today. I love the dolls. Oh my gosh. The problem is, is I wouldn't want to take them down after Halloween is over. Keep them, yeah, keep them all year round. <laughs> well, actually, I have a display with a bunch of other ones. That I that I bought myself, but they're so expensive, so I started making them myself. There you yeah, go. Right. Yeah. That's so pretty. <laughs> Love it. You can't go wrong with skulls. You can't go wrong with sugar skulls. So amazing. And again, uh, like she had mentioned, she shows a lot of her projects on her Instagram. You can email Patty, of course, which is in the description box down below. And I have been putting it in the chat. 
Um, if you have any questions about any of the items, wanting prices, custom work, feel free to email her. Also, subscribe to Miss Patty. She is new. Well, she's not new to YouTube, but she's looking on getting some more followers. Love the cross in the back of the head. Love that you left the inside of it white. Really just makes the eyes pop. <clears throat> You could totally put a light in there. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Awesome. <laughs> so you have to have a Day of the Dead uh, room, seriously, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Love that. Love the spiders. Are you going to wear that? Wear Most likely. Yeah. <laughs> Share a picture on your Instagram of you wearing it. <laughs> I sure will. I love now, that you, now that you got your feet wet, Patty, you got to come on our channel, see if you can hop on a whole bunch of people's channels and share your beautiful art. Yes. <laughs> that, would be, that would be nice. For sure. All right. So that is about time. Thank you so much, Miss Patty. You for me. Thank you, Thank Patty. Thank you. Oh, my Bye. God. Thank you so much. Bye. All righty. All righty. Next up, we have Jewelry Etc. Laura joining us. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so nervous. I know I do this all the time, but like something about sharing stuff I've made is intimidating, I guess. But <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm Laura. If you don't know me, my channel is Jewelry, etc. Um, if you see anything that you like, you can email me, of course. I My channel is like all about selling jewelry and I'm, I'm starting to do like crystals and stones and things now, which I have a show later. That's what all the stuff in the background is. <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, I was an artisan before I was a reseller. So that goes, hey, Jennifer. Well, hello, everybody in the chat. I know I said hi to a bunch of you, but yeah. Hi, Crystal, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been doing art like forever. Like since I was a kid, I was, I loved art. I did like every art show I could as a kid, like up through school and everything like that. And I have never really found like one specific medium that I'm like, in love with so i actually have a facebook um a page business page i guess and it's called the fickle artist because i am incredibly fickle when it comes to art i don't stick to anything i'll like get really into one thing for a while and then like my motivation for that will die out and then i'll get into another thing and then that'll die out and then i just like i have to keep mixing it up or i just get like really sick of the art that i work on so um, when I started the business page, I actually was started off doing um, portraits of dogs for people. And I pull like in my own art, I pull a lot of inspiration from animals and nature and, and things like that. Um, and the portraits just like, I don't even really honestly remember how I began doing them. But I had, I was going to try to really work out. So I'll just share a couple of, these are actually prints I have of commissions that I did. And uh, these actual prints are for sale. These are 15 bucks per print. The plastic's a little dingy because I've had them for a while, but they're whew, encased and in good condition. So this is one of the dogs I did, um, oh, obviously, a puppy, uh, for a co-worker of mine. And she actually came back to me like, I don't know, a couple of years later and commissioned me again and I got a new dog. So I got to do her the portrait for her new pet too, which was pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Um, so that was one of them. Sorry, this is the one I dropped. This is, so as I said, I get bored with, with things, including style of art. So this was one of them that was like the realistic done from a photograph. And then this one was a little more playful of this <laughs> little boxer. And I just, I, the style of it is a little more maybe impressionistic, if you will. Um, and 
I like to adorn them. <laughs> so this one actually has real 3D flowers on the original painting. Um, and I did another portrait. Oh, for... Thank you. Um, so you said that these right here um, are for sale? Yeah, these, these physical pieces are matted prints. They're $15. Oh, They're 12, prints. Okay, okay. I lied. $12. These were my booth. $12 if anyone is interested in actually owning a print. And would you prefer people claim it here or do you want them to email you? They can claim it right in the chat if they want. That's fine by me. Okay. If you want, or email me if you see this later, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I'm going to try to show you on my phone some other ones that I had done of the dogs. And then, and then all the other stuff I've been working on more recently. So here's a custom one I did for a friend of mine. This was her dog, Logan. So I do watercolor too. This is a watercolor portrait. Oh, wow, my screen is super dirty. I'm sorry about that. So that's Logan. He's a brindle pit bull. And he's like, he's, I love him. I love Logan. Um, this is another one. I'm getting, sorry, the, <laughs> the chats are popping up on my phone. <laughs> uh, this is like a pop art style one that a friend commissioned for. There it is. So there's a couple more down here. So are you are you still doing that? Um, would you take a custom order? Yeah, I I would. This is a more realistic one. Um, they aren't my favorite thing to do, if I'm being honest. But I mean, if that's if that's what people want, this is uh, another pit bull. His name is Gordo. My favorite type of dog. That's like a quote that there's a whole story behind this picture. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to screen share so this wasn't. Would so. the price be depending on the size of the? Yeah, so that it depends on how intricate the portrait is. If you yeah. want the background included, or if you just want to play in background, um, the style, like the the one, like this this style that's a little more cartoony, if you will, would yeah, be less expensive than like the realistic ones, for example. So, and then I'll show you one last example which first I have to show you this, Boop -boop. which are both my dogs have passed now. He died earlier this year and he died about three years ago, oh but they God. were our ring bearers in our wedding. Okay. And so from that picture, I created this, which hopefully you can see. Oh, I love it. <gasps> so I'm sorry, yeah. so like, I'm trying to get the whole thing in there. That's beautiful. That's a big one, huh? Yeah, so this canvas is three feet by four feet. And uh, this thing hangs upstairs in our like eating space. I'm thinking I'm going to change the background on it, but um, this is like larger than a life size version <laughs> of our oh my God. from our wedding. So, and that's, you know, something else that could be discussed too is maybe doing like a portrait of your pets and putting clothes on them. They were actually wearing tuxedos, but you know. I'm open to whatever. You have a question. Uh, do you do other animals like cats too? Oh, yeah, I do. So this is why I need my screen share up. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, which is The Fickle Artist on Facebook, I have a bunch of examples of um, of the, the different animals that I've done. And unfortunately, the other thing I wanted to show you was the skull art, but I can't seem to get the stupid page to work. But um, I do, I paint skulls and stuff too, which is something that has to be seen and not talked about because it sounds weird. <laughs> and then you see and you're like, you know, that's not so weird. Um, maybe, and this is, hold on, let me see if I can get, this portrait actually had, oh shoot, my camera's broken too, I forgot about that. It's really probably best to go on, on that page though, the fickle artist one. Um, and I can't, I can't link it in the chat. I don't know if you have the link to that one, Devin, or if you know how to get it, but. I will try to find it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there's like the, basically there's just a whole sampling of my work on that, on that page. Um, and I've done cats before. I've done real estate cats. I also did something that, um, I called uh, like the artistic process series, which were more black and white paintings of wildlife animals, but they're all in my husband's shop. I have like, it doesn't really help for me to talk about it, but yes, to answer your question, <laughs> other animals are okay with me. Um, so 
more recently, I the thing about painting is like it's really hard for me to do now because I have kids and they splinter my time. And since I like to dabble in other art forms, I started playing with polymer clay. And that's been like the thing that I've done recently that I like absolutely love. Oh, and by the way, I did paint these things behind me too. That flower. That's another thing I painted. So same there. That's also a photo I took like back in high school. But anyway, <laughs> just some other art. <laughs> um, so this was actually one of the first things I made, which were these little chicken earrings. Uh, these are also for sale. These are 12 bucks if anyone's interested in, in owning the chickens. I had a few of these. Oh with all of them. I actually made, and Devin can tell you, she bought some tea or some coffee cup earrings from me. Coffee cups, and I also bought bacon, bacon in it. Right? Yes, yeah. the bacon and eggs. <laughs> I made a ton of, I made like, um, how many did I make? I made like, I don't know, six pairs of those for someone who wanted them as stocking stuffers for Christmas for some family members. So I've done bacon and eggs, the croissant and, oh, they were just croissants um, and other things. But these are the only ones I have left. I did another set of chickens too. These are all that's left though. Um, so then I started making jewelry. That was what the next progression was. This is a little pendant that I made with the polymer. Um, and it's kind of got this lacy pattern on the side of it. And there's a flower photo in there with a glass uh, cap on it or whatever you want to call it. And, it, and it, there's, a, there's a bale too. So playing with the jewelry has been fun. Most of them have sold though. So then, <laughs> since I draw inspiration from things I like, a lot of times it's animals, but more recently, I've been really pulling from girls too. So I started having this whole like inspirational moment of like, how can I play with the clay, do something animal-esque, and play with crystals? So that's where this whole series came from, which is my crystal creatures, like thing that I'm dabbling in now, at least that's what I call them. <laughs> crystal creatures. So here's my first crystal creature that I made. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that everything's a he. Like I refer to everything as a he, all jewelry is a he, everything's a he. Oh, look at this guy, <laughs> blah, blah, This is the first thing that in my head is a she. Show us already. She She's my <laughs> old crystal fox. <laughs> so she, oh my gosh. super cute. So then she's got the crystals. So I started making these figurines with the crystal. Wow. <laughs> um incorporated into them so this is a polymer clay sculpture and this one took me quite a while so if you ever wonder what i'm doing when i'm watching auctions it's making this stuff <laughs> um she is for sale that's what this you do one, when you're I, working and lurking <laughs> what's that that's what you do when you're working and lurking yes when i'm working and lurking <laughs> i'm usually doing this stuff yes that is or so invoicing. cute so this one this one i would probably put an asking price of probably around $40 on her just because, man, it's time consuming making these things. Um, and the materials too, I had to buy more. I ran out of clay. It takes a lot of clay. The thing is some people will make <laughs> these sort of statues and put like tin foil inside of them or some sort of filler so they don't have to use as much clay. But my thing is since I'm putting crystals inside of it and I want the crystals to stick in there really well, using a filler on the inside isn't really an option. So that didn't work out too well for me. So that's her, she's that's so cute. she's a cutie. I really like this one. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Jamie said want in the chat. Oh, yes. Jamie, what the fuck? You have to give her a name. She doesn't have a name, which is weird for me to not name my things. Oh but yeah, God. Jamie, if you that's want her, so let me. Let me write, make a super quick note to myself. She's and, awesome. And I do take requests too. So if anybody has an animal you wanted me to do, you know, let me know. And guys, these prices not only reflect the cost of the stuff to make it, but also the time and labor. And sometimes the time and labor is priceless and it's hard to put a price on it. So these prices yeah. are... Absolutely. Just reflect the amount of, and I can't say it enough, blood, sweat, and tears that have been put into all this art. Uh, yes, absolutely. I will say, I think this one was, I may have actually been watching your show, Devin, or it might have been a, a Thursday one. 
when Please. I made her and it, it took me probably two and a half hours to sculpt it. Then it takes more time to paint it. I have to insert the crystals and then the cost of the materials, the crystals, you know, I do get um, beaded crystals that have that are drilled because when I put them in there and I push the clay against it, they need something to like grab onto. So they don't just come sliding right back out of the figure. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's time consuming. So Jamie, thank you so much. I am so like tickled this, that. This would be therapeutic to watch you do. <laughs> I, I was gonna record it too. And I was thinking about going live while I was making them. And then I remember that you guys kind of wanted to keep some mystery. So I was like, Maybe next time. Maybe well, I think okay. exactly. I I think that you should definitely um, do a video of you making some stuff. And I'll if it gives do. you anxiety doing it live, then do it pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't mind. Like I don't. It's just like showing you guys like stuff I've made makes me look, like. Okay, so this guy, he's thirty-five. If anybody wants him, he's that little turtle. Oh my gosh! How cute! So again, another crystal creature. He's got a little tail. You have again, two minutes. Okay, all right, we'll go through this one quick. But he's 35 if anyone's interested in him, or again, if you have any requests for a specific one you would want. So him, this one I got a little more crazy with the detailing on the, the shell and whatnot. Yeah. And you can always email me, but honestly, these guys, as I make them are probably going to end up in my crystal show just because I feel like they are a cute addition to the table. Right. And Absolutely. it fits that theme. So if you ever want to see, you know, more of what I'm making from that one. And then this last guy, so he is for sale. The last one's not for sale. I thought really hard about selling it, but I just can't, I just like him too much. So this is the last one and he's my bear. Oh my gosh. So he's got him. I left the, all these ones have been glazed. This guy I left him matte, except yeah, for his Yeah, that's it. That was, a, that was a good call. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Did a little detail on his head. Where's the other side of him? And so this is just uh, the polymer. I roll them out and do designs, lay it on there, and then bake them and do coat on it again he's kind of heavy because the it's solid polymer there's no filler in here and because i want to keep the crystals in there <laughs> bear that's right and i love bears so so this one is staying for now in my personal collection but, yeah. but if you guys interested email her she'll make another just for you <laughs> yes. and again Custom stuff. I would do custom stuff, and I'm I'm going to probably keep making these because this has been a lot of fun for me. So it you'll looks like fun. Like, it's what's so, that? It looks like fun. It sure. is. I I have a really fun time doing it. And then what? The other thing I'm going to start dabbling in, and I made this first actually because originally I was just going to be like make up um little like fantasy like crystal specimens which i still may dabble in but this inspired me to start making like landscapes oh or some God. other pieces that go with the animals so like laura you, you should know, totally you have your box you have you your should, little you should do a fairy piece. land <laughs> a that would be fairy land <laughs> that would be fun i have, have, like, have more ideas it's, it's the bus doesn't stop here I have so many ideas. This is my problem. If you have a question um, or maybe a request, if you sign your pieces. Oh, I don't. I didn't. That didn't even occur to me. <laughs> yes, you have to put your signature. So just like anybody else that you've seen today, all of our amazing creative artists, we have all of their emails, their links. And of course I did drop the uh, Facebook page for Miss Laura, the fickle artist. Oh, thank um, you for doing that. No Thanks problem. So um, stop and it just we have all of their information and please feel free if you see anything from today, and need to purchase you know how to get a hold of these and bear mind everything takes time blood sweat and tears all the creativity and the motivation so the price you're paying is for someone can made work that's true and especially i mean i'll speak for myself and 
pretty much anyone with kids is like your time alone to work is precious. Yeah. So yeah. we choose to use it to do art. And I'm sure everybody else has very valuable things to do with their time that don't have like younger dealing with too. And it's, it's special that like you're taking that valuable time and putting it into something that you're hoping somebody likes enough to bring into their own home. So last thing before you go, uh, Jennifer pointed out an amazing thing, which your mood necklace has changed colors three times since you're <laughs> oh, so, you looking down there now. <laughs> you gotta look that up. But that. that's amazing. It just goes to show that the, the, the things that we make come from literally our heart and soul and yes. every little piece of us. So yes. thank you so much, Laura, for coming yes. on, guys. Please, please, please subscribe to Miss Laura. Uh, please check her out. Email her if you're interested in any of the pieces that she's shown. If you want any custom requests or anything, yes. holler oh, at your yeah. girl. Email Jake, would be great. And Jake, I do do this the stone and jewelry shows, but I will, some of this art stuff is going to be making it into shows and I'll probably be doing videos also. Awesome. Like can't said about making can't it. wait to see it. Jamie said she needs her, her Fox signed. <laughs> needs her what? She needs her Fox signed. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure I sign it, Jamie. I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't know why that didn't cross my mind. I've signed everything else, but I'll make sure. Oh my on. gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm awkwardly on the screen. Uh, <laughs> Sit back and wait. All right. All right. Now, last but not least, we have Miss Devin. They say it's not over until the fat lady sings. So here she is. She's singing. Guys, uh, procrastination nation happened <laughs> over here in uh, the Moonstone Mama house. What I can tell you is soldering is a son of a gun. Uh, and I have soldered my first piece of jewelry, which happens to be the sterling silver ring. You know, Laura brings up a good point. Uh, we're divided. Uh, we have children, homes, uh, families, all of those things, and especially stuff that you don't want your kids to put in their mouth are things that, um, you know, you don't want to do around them. So it is a juggle and a struggle. But if you haven't seen already and haven't subscribed to my channel, I am doing my soldering chronicles. I am working on a ring. I tried to get it done beforehand, but I just did not. But practice, 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 I will continue to do. Now, what I have put my work into are these fairy catchers, wind chimes, uh, light catchers. I always talk about if you don't necessarily want to wear your items, uh, but you want to hang them in the window, uh, this is what I've done. Um, I have made a few of these. Uh, this one has a little bit of a story to tell. This one has um, the land and, or the sky and the sea. I have an eagle, I have a fish, a lot of the stuff, most of this, there is no resin. I can tell you that for sure on this. This is just one of the ones I happen to make. The, the limbs or the branches that I have used have actually come from either my olive tree or my elm tree in front here. Uh, so this is just happens to be one of the um, ones I've created. I want you to be able to fall into a piece uh, that I have made. I want it to be a, a eclectic and reflective of me and myself. Um, so all of these have a story to tell. The second one that I have for you um is a little bit more simple we have the rainbow i tried to find the sticks that would also um cast the same sort of effect here again a lot of natural material um you have your rainbow um i wanted to possibly think about a mobile um i used all glass natural stones um, things that really, like I mentioned, you can oh fall God. into. 
Um, I have yet to um, post anything like this on my Etsy uh, or anything. This is mostly what I had planned for the showcase, um, but I really wanted to. And I do have one more that I, you might have heard me say before. Oops, so sorry. I draw inspiration from being a mother. And so um, this was one that obviously I thought of for my daughter. Um, these are all in the pinks. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, all in the pinks. This is something that is literally just strung here. Um, you have your pinks, you have your clears, and of course you have just literally um, your dazzlers on there. This is one that didn't quite make it onto a branch, but you get the gist. Um, so I have some dragons in the work. I have some fun stuff in the work. Um, pretty much before I make up a craft lot, I go through it myself with my, my little fingers. But guys, <laughs> that's what I have. Um, but I want to thank everybody so much. Um, you know, I'm baffled, um, and, but not surprised at the amount of artistry that we have here because YouTube so, is literally just that, YouTube. So I, have so, a, so I have a question for you. Are you going, to, um, when you dibble dabble and make some more things, are, are these items going to be on your Etsy? I did link your Etsy in the chat. Um, eventually, are these going to go on your Etsy? Yes. Yes. Most definitely um i'm wanting to to put them on my etsy i mean just an example of the window behind here you can see um just the fun and the flicker of of the light and and how it brings hopefully joy uh to you it is you so yeah these i haven't quite i haven't quite figured out a price uh for these yet but um like i mentioned I use glass and natural stone, anything that would provide any kind of flicker, light catching, um, things along. What do you ask for branch chimes? Yeah, you know, I haven't even decided them yet if I wanted to call them fairy catchers, if I wanted to call them um, window, I don't know, maybe light catchers, not 100% certain. So pretty. But I could just imagine that in somebody's backyard or porch. That's beautiful. And that was my exact thought. Somewhere where you can provide maximum peace to yourself. My daughter just timed somebody out on accident, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Really sorry, guys. guys. <laughs> yeah, really, really, really sorry. My daughter had my phone. Um, I'm really trying to uh, split my time. My husband, um, which goes to time. Um, has new uh, schedule, so <laughs> really trying. Uh, really apologize about that, Deanna. <laughs> really sorry. Um, but like I mentioned, um, I try really hard, of course, not only to make them um, exciting, fun, have some light, have some positivity, but also kid proof. Yeah, that's important too. Yeah. Um, I think probably they'd start around 20, depending on the size. Um, I would say I would comfortably sell this guy for 20. Um, and, you know, it would just go up from there, depending on the strands, depending on I have, um, I have some circular ones in the works, the ones that would cascade down. Um, oh, it's just beautiful. I can't wait. To all see. natural stones, sliced agates. I just... Um, things got a little crazy. I'm sure you guys all understand. But the major point about all of this is that everyone was amazing. This was exceptionally exciting and wonderful. And I think I speak for Jenny and I when we both say we can't wait for the November showcase. Yes. Oh my gosh. This was so exciting. And, and can I say um, as well, I cannot wait to continue following you on your journey of um, soldering. And thank you for, you're so brave for recording that, you know, dipping like straight in first, you know, first try and recording it. That would make me super anxious. I could not do that. So like, bravo. Thank you for sharing that with us and can't wait to see what amazing things you make. Dude, you want the rainbow one? 
Are you joking? Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Holy Congratulations, smokes. Jude. It is. Oh my so God, hard. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't need 15 minutes. I didn't I didn't do my part <laughs> and get a lot of oh my, my gosh. Uh, but you know what? You're discrediting yourself those beautiful pieces they're, they're beautiful and i cannot wait to see what more things you have you oh have a God. lot to offer this artisan show <laughs> i can't <laughs> wait to see everybody's oh my gosh i'm gonna put us both on wow you guys blown us away wow like you made my 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 um creativity is like tingling. I hope that we inspired everyone back to their creative. If you were in a rut, I hope this inspired you to keep on making, keep on crafting. Um, yeah, this was amazing. This so amazing. This, um, like you guys have me speechless. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. And like playing off of what Miss Jenny said, you know, don't let, look at Patty. This was her first time coming up at all. And look, she busted it out and she killed it. Don't let your fear overshadow your creativity. Email us for next month. This was rock and roll. We got to do this again. Absolutely. Um, this, this just exceeded my expectation. I am so excited to be able to do this with Devin, do this together as a partner. And I can't wait. This is just the beginning, guys. This was just a little dab and to see how it goes. And it was amazing. And wow, so much creativity. It was super awesome. Thank you guys so much. From the Thank bottom you. of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you for showing us your creativity, your creative hearts, seriously. <laughs> exactly. Thank and make you. sure you guys check everybody out in the description. All their links are there. Um, awesome. Please hit that thumbs up. If you guys want to sign up and be a guest on our next uh, artisan venture, please shoot us an email. And just because you did, you did it this time, sign up for next month too, because next month is more fall than October is. So what else can you bring? What else can you show? Inspire, love, create positivity yo yes thank you. And, and we have christmas coming we have new year's coming like bring it guys let's do it what you guys got thank you so much guys i hope you guys had a great time watching i am inspired i don't know about you guys i'm super inspired i need to get out more stuff and craft away <laughs> Thank you guys for being here, for joining us. Um, thank you, Devin, for being my partner in crime. <laughs> Thanks for being you, boo boo. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> and thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.